I have a bone to pick with smartwatches of all things, and this doesn't really make too much sense. How could I hate on a smartwatch? Even something like this, where there's literally not even a panel you can press on and waste. By the way, if you have a watch like that, that is genuinely one of the biggest dopamine sinks that's possible. The guys who invented those watches literally sat there and thought, how can we get people to attach their phone to their body so that no matter what, they can't escape it. No matter what, they're going to get notifications. They're going to literally use it as a second phone. I see my mum using it and she will use it to do everything. She'll set timers, she'll answer messages, and she's using it liberally, right? Other people are using it genuinely to do anything and everything possible. It doesn't become something which is actually adding to your life. It becomes something that's taking away from it. I mean, how are they selling these, right? How are they selling them? Well, they sell smartwatches by talking about health. That's literally the selling point. You can track your steps, you can track your workouts, your calories, your heart. That is how they sell them. Do you really need it? N not really. I do this one because in truth, someone like me, someone who cares a little bit about how their sleep's gone or how their heart's going because I have certain athletic performance I need to meet, it becomes a bit different. Now, I'm not going to hate on normal people for wanting to have those metrics too. It's great if they're interested in it, although it might not be the best thing for them quite yet. But that is not the point of this. The point of this is no matter who you are, if you're someone who's not having the digital dopamine on your wrist, where it's like liquid heroin. I guess I can say that because we're a decent amount through the video, so I, I should be able to mention stuff like that without us getting completely shadow banned. But if you have something like this where there's zero panel, there is still a problem. And it's not a problem that exists for everyone. You can get away from it. But this problem is the fact that when you take a look at your daily metrics, it can kill you. And I don't mean kill in the literal sense. We're not we're not gonna start fear-mongering certain things like that. But what it can do is, if I take a look at my app and I see my recovery was 20%, my sleep was bad or, or whatever, all of these metrics, it's gonna immediately set my day up for disappointment. No matter who I am, no matter what I'm doing, I'm probably gonna read that and think, man, today's gonna suck because my app says it will. And in truth, there might be some mornings where that happens and I feel amazing, but then the app tells me I'm wrong and then it changes my day. Is that ideal? <laughs> no. And it probably took me six months of using that to actually disconnect from what the watch was telling me because I understood I was going to do the same things anyway. The only thing it will really change is maybe my intensity towards cardio, which is more so a heart benefit. And if I can tell fatigue levels through my heart, that's going to be more of a benefit than a drawback. But I'm not going to start skipping workouts because my watch tells me that I got bad sleep or that my heart is in some sort of dangerous area. The thing people can do if they don't have this six month period where they're dreading looking at their watch app every single day, but they can't help finding themselves sliding their app open and taking a look. There is something like it's not it's not the end of the world. There are things you can do. And I think the best thing is literally disconnecting the time frame. So instead of checking every single day, you make it a habit to check one day of a week. It's almost like if we imagine we had like the capability to turn the numbers of a calorie tracking app because we're someone who really struggles with looking at calories you know we've have a we've had a past where maybe we've had disordered eating and we just really hyper focus on those numbers in an unhealthy way what we could do is if we were able to turn those numbers off we could just log our food and at the end of the week we could take a look back and we could reflect you know was i hitting enough protein was i getting enough calories and although we, we don't have that daily obsession we're able to make smarter decisions for the next week. And this is kind of similar to what I think the best approach is for maybe the first three months of using a smartwatch when you're tracking these things. You check it once a week, you see what's trending, what's going on, and if you have a sleep journal, maybe you can write stuff on your sleep journal and you can take a look back on the week and be like, okay, that's interesting. The day where I did a midnight shop or the day where I did cardio before bed was better or worse. And we can start piecing these things together and we can create an interesting idea of you know, what's actually going on here. Now, after that period of three months, we can try doing it daily. For some people, it's gonna be fine. For some people, maybe even a weekend or maybe from the get-go, it didn't really matter. But there are others where they just haven't reached that place yet where they can go without checking it weekly. They can't take a daily look because that anxiety comes, their day is ruined, and a negative pattern appears. And for someone like that, they gotta do it weekly for some time more. 
Now, I hope that helped. If so, you can speak about this further. You can ask questions or even ask what's a good watch. For instance, the Whoop, the Whoop is probably one of the best. But you can do that in my school community and the link should be down below.